Hello everybody, I'm Lance and today I want to talk to you about doing push-ups after sitting all day. So there, there's some things that you need to consider. If you are, if you're trying to train your push-up, you're trying to do more, or you're trying to do your first one maybe, uh, you know, you have to, <laughs> you have to consider the rest of the day. Oftentimes I'm going to recommend if it's really important to you, you do it first thing in the morning because one, then things don't get in the way and, you know, like uh, meetings don't get scheduled or kids don't have to come home early from school or whatever it may be. Um, but two, your body's just a little bit fresher. Um, for, for general strength purposes, like if I'm training maximal strength, I probably don't want to do it first thing in the morning, ideally, but... Um, if it's just like, if you're a real person in the real world, you probably need to knock it out right away. Um, if not, if you're working out after work, which I, I choose to do because I'm disciplined enough to set aside the time, generally, um, then you have to consider some things. So if you're sitting all day, you're locking up your body, your, your spine and your other joints, they just glue together um, like this so that I can sit on the computer and, and work efficiently while staring at this screen that's glowing in my face. Uh, so you have to consider that, right? I don't wanna run in to do push-ups with a locked up body. I need to unlock things first. So the, the general rule is you want to warm up before you do your push-ups. More specifically, you wanna get stuff that's gonna get your body kind of rotating like this. One of my favorites is this lower trunk rotation exercise where you lay on your back, your knees are bent up like this, and I just wring my whole body out. So I look at this palm back here, and I let my feet come toward the camera, and then I switch sides. And you just move really, really slowly. It's, it's almost like this yoga mentality where you're just trying to teach your body how to move again, introduce some control in your movement. You're going really slowly, just like that. Another big one that I like to give people is the rock back breathing. Uh, so I start hands and knees, I tuck my hips just to feel my outer lower obliques like this. And then I'm just gonna sit my butt back toward my heels. Not super rounded out like this. I'm just trying to maintain a little bit of a hip tuck. And then I can feel my leg muscles, my butt muscles holding me up there. And I'm gonna actively push my neck away from the ground just to kind of get a nice uh, normal curvature of my spine. And then I just like to hold this one for breaths. So you do that one, you're looking for the upper back to expand. You're not looking for any crunching. That's, that's the biggest thing that people will mess up here. Um, what else? I, I like lunging. I like lunging for everyone because when I take this, this little hip motion like this, I can even throw in a little reach down here and then twist my upper body again. And that's that same idea, right? I'm not, I'm not doing deadlifts to warm up for my... Uh, <laughs> for my push-up, which I suppose you can do because you do want your heart rate to get up. But ideally, I'd like to elevate your heart rate with some movements that are moving you from side to side. Maybe things that you do on one leg or split stance or uh, with some sort of offset. You could, do, um, you could do farmer carries where you're walking. That gives you a little bit of that twist. You could do uh, suitcase carries where you're not holding both weights, but you're holding just one weight down by your side there. Um, that cues some of that oblique. Uh, generally though, it doesn't really matter. You just have to warm up, right? You have to move around. You have to reteach your body how to control its movements. And then you can go into that push-up because otherwise you're gonna do your push-ups like you're sitting <laughs> at the computer with your head forward like this. 
and then your shoulders gonna start to hurt or your elbows gonna start to hurt or your head's gonna start throbbing. You're gonna get dizzy when you come up, anything, right? Uh, so those are just some thoughts, just some assistance for if you're trying to build your push-up after a long day of work.